Okay. So the question is, was uh, what is the answer of the community to a disaster? So the idea was to understand a little bit better which part of the community and the mappers uh, join the the map effort after the disaster. So I hope that everyone here is know OT. There is someone that doesn't know OT. It is no. Okay, I can skip the, this four, five sentences. Maybe you know better than me, so I can uh, hide some mistake. So what happened when there is a, a disaster and so after the emergency? The people start to, uh, to map using uh, old information, like uh, old uh, uh, aerial images or satellite images. And uh, in the same time, someone is uh, starting some task manager project. The task manager is a software, a online software, that uh, was developed by HOT to manage this uh, situation. Because uh, uh, in OpenStreetMap, it's quite uh, simple to make a mistake if a lot of people is ma mapping the same area uh, with different uh, versions and uh, of the same uh, object, and you can make some mistake. So with the task manager, you should be able to don't create any problem on the map, uh, on the data of OpenStreetMap. So the task manager should be used by the community to uh, manage all the activities. Because uh, if you start to use the task manager, uh, you can uh, select an area and say, I'm mapping this area, please don't uh, map in the same area. And uh, in this way, there should be not be conflict. And uh, during a uh, uh, disaster event, also hundreds of people in the same time could map on the same area. So conflict would be quite frequent. What happened in Italy two years ago? In uh, August two two of 2016, at 3.36, there was a really strong earthquake in the center of Italy. And it was the stronger of a really long series of earthquakes, a smaller earthquake. And in uh, this earthquake, there was uh, around uh, 300 uh, people die. So it was quite uh, a big impact for, uh, for the area. At uh, 5.44, there was uh, the first data headed in OpenStreetMap. We checked on the planet uh, after the earthquake when the people start to, uh, to map the area. One hour after, there was the first message on the Italian mailing list saying there is the earthquake, what we can do. And uh, five hours or Five, yeah, five hours uh, later, or four hours later, there was a tasking, uh, task uh, started on the Italian Tasking Manager. The Wikimedia, Italian Wiki Wikimedia chapter as a server, and they uh, set up uh, the Tasking Manager. Uh, we are using for different uh, events, and also some small project. And so we started with uh, the first task. We activate three tasks for this event. Uh, the earthquake continued until the January 2017, and there was other two quite strong in uh, October. Uh, luckily, if I remember well, uh, these two, uh, there was not uh, people dying because it was in the better uh, daytime. The first one was during night, everyone was sleeping, and uh, the second was uh, during morning and uh, people start to wake up and so uh, it was a little bit better. This is the task uh, manager that we, this is the 15, that is the last one with the newer data. Uh, the 13 was using the old uh, uh, imagery to map the building. Because the, the building are used by the Copernicus Rapid man, uh, Mapping uh, Agency. Uh, maybe some of you doesn't know these uh, um, Copernicus rapid mapping uh, activities. That is a, a, a group of people working for GRC, the Joint Research Center of Europe. And uh, they uh, are working to uh, mapping in a really uh, fast time what is happening for disaster. 
there are some uh, entity in the world that uh, can uh, ask to start a new project. And uh, at that time, after 24 hours, the, peop the people working on the project has to provide some data. And uh, quite often they use OpenStreetMap data because uh, uh, it's not complete, but uh, it's uh, standardized. So you can manage more or less uh, everywhere the same kind of data. And uh, so they used our data that was uh, um, more or less uh, hourly updated with the building. They put inside all the building all the information about the collapsed building or really high damage building. And uh, we get back the data and we put in OpenStreetMap. The code to get the data from the Copernicus is on uh, GitHub. There was some WMS services to get uh, the data uh, online and uh, to use them uh, on the map. So, the, as the first slide, we want to investigate what happened. So, who, is the map, who are the mappers that uh, uh, give uh, help to improve the data and what they do? So, we write a small piece of Python code that is called uh, OSM Event Analyst and you can reuse for any kind of uh, event, also not a disaster, also for uh, like for a mapping party, you could, you could use it. And uh, it was, ah, okay, now there is. This is the area. So we are in the center of Italy. This is Rome. We are here in Milan. And uh, each, Each point is a, a, an earthquake. The darker are stronger and the uh, lighter are a uh, little bit less problematic. The two strongest are one, this is the red one behind, and the other one here, near Amatrice. So we uh, study first the user and uh, we divide the user in five uh, uh, group. The user that uh, they map only before the event, the user that uh, map before and after the event. These probably are the users that uh, are living in the, that area because uh, they don't uh, map only after the disaster and so they want to help the community but they map also before. Um, existing uh, user that uh, map only after the disaster and after the two kind of uh, new user. So the new user that make the first point outside the study area and the new user that make the first point inside the, the um, study area. So these user probably are new user because they want to uh, help in the, in the map of the disaster. As you can see, uh, the majority it was by existing users, so people that already know how to, use, how to map and how to help uh, OpenStreetMap. And uh, a lot of people map only before and really few people start to contribute. At that time, uh, we were thinking about uh, the complexity of map uh, uh, and uh, disaster event because uh, the topic is uh, really specific. Uh, you are not uh, enjoying your activity. Usually when you go out to map uh, is uh, something that you enjoy. And, uh, but after, in the last slide, I will show that uh, something is different uh, around the world. Here you can see the statistic, uh, how many uh, data was inserted by uh, the several classes. And you can see uh, again that the existing uh, user before and after are the more uh, uh, useful in this kind of uh, event in Italy at least. In this plot you can see the, contribu the daily contribution and the small big peak is the first day after the earthquake 
And uh, this, again, is after the October uh, earthquake. So you can see that uh, after the disaster, uh, the activity starts again, and they increase a little bit the, the map. This is, again, the daily uh, the, uh, number of edits for user classes. This is for the first uh, earthquake, so August, starting from the 24th of August to, November, uh, to September something. You can see that there are more or less three weeks of high activity. And the same is replicated for the October events. Here it's a little bit longer, maybe some 10 days instead of uh, three weeks. But more or less the, the day that people want to uh, work on the map is like three weeks. Maybe because all the data was uh, added. I don't think so. But uh, after a while, you maybe feel that uh, the map is full and uh, you don't uh, have any. Or also, people have to do something else. Or the second uh, part of the analysis is about the data. And uh, in this case, really few data was modified. So the yellow is the data that are not modified after the event. So uh, they was already existing before the events, and uh, they remain uh, as usual, uh, like them also after. So there was no change in, in the geometry and tags. And uh, the green one was the data headed after the event, but they was also modified by the someone else or by the same user. He had some uh, new tags or new geometry, or he changed a little bit the geometry. And the red one are uh, old data, so data that was already in the OpenStreetMap database before the event, and they was modified after. For example, all the collapsed building should be or removed or better marked as collapsed. And uh, polygon, really few polygon. I don't think so. I don't understand why, because the building should be modified. Or the really small part are all, all buildings, and they didn't modify anything else. Or I have not a really answer to that. And here we can see instead what the user changed. Mainly, they changed the geometry in all the uh, elements, followed by geometry in the new elements. And the same we can see for uh, tags. So tags for uh, old elements and tags for new elements. So for the new elements, it makes sense that not uh, many tags are modified, because uh, they are quite new data, and they remain like that. And the uh, last. Uh, part of the analysis is about the tile. So we download the tile log that is available on the planet.openstreetmap.org to understand uh, if there was uh, interest also outside the community, because the map is uh, visualized by a lot of uh, different uh, services and a lot of different people. And also in this case, you can see that there is a, a big peak on the day of the disaster, and uh, it's going down with the, the time. We checked also the tile that uh, is uh, uh, the tile of Amatrice. Amatrice is uh, one of the famous uh, places uh, um, that where uh, the earthquake came, because there is a pasta Amatriciana that is quite famous around the world, and is coming from this uh, village. Amatrice is uh, uh, mm, is a famous for this uh, pork uh, ham, it's something like that. It's a pancetta, I don't know in uh, English. And the pancetta is the main uh, uh, um, dish of uh, uh, pasta alla matriciana. And so there was uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, help from the USA because there was pasta alla matriciana. So you can see that uh, the, gra uh, the plot is more or less the same for all the uh, tile level. We start from the zoom 12, going to zoom 19. There is also the zoom 15 with uh, a different uh, pattern. Probably 
for I didn't check, but probably there are uh, uh, some other big village inside this uh, Zoom. Probably there is Rome also. So a lot of people looking for Rome, it's visiting also the same tile of Amatrice at that level. This is my idea, but uh, I'm not sure. So this is the capability of uh, OSM event analyst, is able to uh, analyze user data and tiles. Um, this was written in 2017. I tried to run again uh, the, uh, this procedure for two different areas, but I discovered that a lot of stuff from last year changed. For example, we are using uh, a tool of uh, Pascal Nace that now uh, required uh, login, and so you cannot get, get the same values as before. And there was some changing also in the, um, in the history, in the diff file, for example, the change set are not uh, uh, even more uh, with the NID. All the change set now have the same ID inside the, the OSM data that you can get. So what I want to show you, OK, sorry, before there are some result. So in this case, it's the last slide, so it's perfect. Um, the color mapping was done by experienced user, at least in our case. We will see that in other cases there are different patterns. Um, in our case, again, the most of the ob object was not modified. So this is uh, really strange because, uh, from my point of view, a lot of data probably was uh, old and they should be modified. And uh, of course, the ta tasking manager, the TM, is crucial to uh, avoid this uh, problem with uh, duplicates and uh, with uh, conflict. So this is some uh, uh, plot that I just uh, got uh, yesterday from two di different uh, disasters. One is uh, Haiti. Haiti is quite famous. I'm sorry to say th this, but because it is the first big event where the OpenStreetMap community showed to the world how to, how to use OpenStreetMap for this kind of uh, event. And uh, Sri Lanka was uh, quite simple to analyze from my point of view, and so I uh, use it. And in this case, OK, there is not difference between the new user that uh, make the point inside the area and outside. But you can see that uh, the new user are more and more uh, respect of uh, our case. Probably the internationality and uh, the uh, yeah, the internationality and also IT was a, really a big disaster, bigger than Howard. So it was uh, 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 around the world, uh, everyone knew about that. So probably new user was interested to, to join the mapping effort. Uh, in Sri Lanka, it's more or less the same. What is uh, really different was the existing uh, data. So you can see that uh, in IT in 2010, there was only 3.4% of the data was modified before the event by the user. Instead, in Sri Lanka, more, most of the 50% was uh, already present after the disaster. OK, we are speaking six years uh, after. So OpenStreetMap in this six year became more, more and more uh, bigger project with more uh, people mapping. And so <laughs> it's quite normal. But you can see there are some differences. Here is again a plot to show the different classes and how they contribute. The, uh, the points are uh, uh, number outside the standard deviation, and uh, you can the box plot is inside the standard deviation. So this is every, everything. Uh, please, few questions because I have to run to take the train. <laughs> if you want, uh, you can write me an email. I will answer. If you, no, I'm joking. Please. I have to run, really, but uh, I can answer. OK, perfect right. timing. Uh, fast questions, fast answers. Very fast. I will try. I was actually in Abruzzo during okay. the earthquake. I was in Monte Cassino. It was, it was quite bad. Uh, and I remember that many Italians did not have internet access yeah. uh, because the Italians in, in this part of Italy are, are not connected. Yeah. Uh, in that case, how can we cross uh, the, the data from uh, Twitter, for example, with OSM data? Have you thought about the uh, fact that, uh, you know, of being able to cross this with 
the few information that can be brought um, bottom, you know, from the yeah. from bottom up. So I, I have not answered how to manage this, but uh, I know that uh, in uh, at least in Italy for this kind of, uh, of event, uh, there is some specific uh, task to provide uh, internet access to everyone in the meantime possible. I know that it's quite difficult, but uh, uh, I know that the Vigilator Focus is the, the uh, fire fire? Five fighters. Five fighters was there to provide the internet connection uh, in Amatrici for sure. I don't know, every, uh, also in other city for sure. Yeah, this is a problem. But uh, for example, we was able to communicate with uh, these people, and for example, they send us some uh, GPX, and uh, we, they was without uh, okay, they was with uh, really limited uh, internet access, but uh, they was able to send uh, GPX. For example, there was a bridge completely collapsed, and they made a new road, and they sent us the new road. And uh, the day after we was that they uh, opened the new road, we was able to put on OpenStreetMap, so it was useful for uh, for people. So given what you know about who responded and the fact that they were mostly Italian or mostly abroad and mostly people who were experienced mappers. So we, we tried to uh, check that. Uh, the uh, simple idea was to use this uh, Pascal Nays uh, tool right. that uh, returned the first point. And uh, I think that 95% or more 99% was Italian. So the first point that they made was in Italy. Okay. So I'm not sure that uh, there is a, a people that is living in Italy, but uh, okay. So but how will that change the way that you try to reach out to people in the inevitable next earthquake? Probably using the OT tasking manager could be an idea because uh, the Italian tasking manager is uh, visible mainly for Italian people because uh, probably you don't know that there is a tasking manager for uh, from Italy but you know that there is the tasking manager from OT so this could be uh, for sure an idea but since we have uh, it makes sense to use it probably for the future could be I don't know because now uh, there is the new version of tasking manager the tasking manager could be useful to have a federate tasking manager. So you can see also the task uh, from other tasking manager instance. I know uh, it's an idea, but uh, someone has to implement it. <laughs> I have no time to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to ask, so uh, do you have an explanation that w why a year after 95% have not changed? So all the buildings remain destructed and, and, and the, no, the average uh, uh, update is... This analysis is, is not uh, from the actual data, it was uh, from uh, last year data. But, but still, yeah, are, but are, still are you saying it's worse than the average old yeah. street map update cycle? It's an idea, yeah. I don't know why. I have not an answer, but uh, it's really strange. No, I, I mean, it's, it's perhaps like uh, be, uh, to be over uh, engaged uh, just to, uh, to, to help and, and then run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, because that could be an, an explanation. Yeah, this could be, uh, yeah. But uh, in theory, no, because... Uh, the tool is looking for the change set version or the, the number of version and is checking if the version is changing before and after the event. So at least the building that was al already there and the change, it should appear like changed. So for, for building, I was expecting a little more and more uh, modifying obje object. It's a really, I would like to make the same analysis for Haiti and uh, Sri Lanka since there are a lot of uh, old uh, data already, especially for uh, Sri Lanka, and check uh, if there at least is uh, changing something 
maybe it could be also a bug of the software. I don't, I don't know, but. What is real situation there? Is it restored everything by now? Uh, After one year. The, the situation in the map or in the, in, in, in the, the land? Uh, <laughs> I think that is, uh, this, it's uh, more or less the same as uh, last year. We are, we are still, uh, in 2008, there was uh, Aquila. Nine. 2009, we had the earthquake close to this area. And uh, right now, after nine years, uh, the city center is still uh, unavailable for uh, residents. They build a new village outside. They give them some uh, hood houses. But the previous uh, houses are still there, as uh, nine years ago, without uh, ability to go there inside. and. Uh, so I think that it should be the same, more or less. Just, uh, yeah. I'd like to that a great available uh, the result of uh, OSM data during a, a Matrice event was that uh, you provided actually the, b the footprint of buildings for Copernicus. Yeah. You were, have been the first one. So I can witness that that was really, really important. And uh, I can say that uh, maybe there are no changes because in that part, uh, okay, uh, you had that building, now the building has been destroyed, uh, but all the same, uh, it was a uh, reference for uh, all processes that have been developed. Uh, yeah, but uh, since we, we modify it, uh, I think that it is collapsed, it should appear there. Just, but as uh, attributes, not as footprint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. So we'll have to uh, stop there to allow some changeover, to allow Luca not to miss his train, and uh, we'll put our hands together for a very interesting presentation.